I'm Faye Chapman, the Program Director for the University of Georgia's Franklin College of Arts and Sciences at the University of Georgia Griffin Campus. And I'm here to talk with you about the Bachelor of Science in Microbiology degree program that we offer here at UGA Griffin. You may be wondering, why would I want to get a Bachelor of Science in Microbiology? One very good reason is that it prepares you for a successful career in a number of areas. We've had students go on to careers as quality assurance scientists, biosafety specialists, lab managers. They've worked in food, agricultural, environmental labs. They've worked in public health, medical, veterinary labs, and also as research associates. It's also excellent foundation for those of you who want to go on to get a professional degree. If you're thinking about being a physician, a dentist, a veterinarian, a physician assistant, a physical therapist, an anesthetist, a research scientist, a consultant, this is a solid background to prepare you for those fields and to get into the graduate programs and professional schools that will prepare you for those careers. But you may be wondering, why should I choose the Griffin campus? Well, we think that there's some very good reasons. We are a very small campus, so you get to enjoy a small college atmosphere. Your classes will be small, so you will enjoy personalized instruction. Also, there's the fact that you'll be getting a UGA degree, and UGA has a very strong academic reputation across the nation. You'll also be joining a very large group of Franklin College alumni. It's now over 110,000 and a lot of UGA alumni, uh, well over uh, 325,000 worldwide. So you'll have quite a network to take advantage of. And one thing we added at the bottom is to let you know that yes, if you're a student here at UGA Griffin, you can get football tickets. We get asked that all the time. Now in terms of the degree itself, here's some things you might want to know. It is a Bachelor of Science degree, and in the major itself, you'll be taking courses like these. An Introduction to Biochemistry and Molecular Biology, Genetics, Introductory Microbiology, Introductory Microbiology Lab, Basic Skills in the Lab, Prokaryotic Biology. By the way, all of those that I've mentioned so far are required courses. Pro, uh, excuse me, Pathogenic Bacteriology, Directed Research, Plant Microbe Interactions, and soil microbiology. So let's think about this. Is the UGA Griffin microbiology degree right for you? It is a degree completion program. That means you can't come to us as a freshman, unfortunately. You have to come to us as a transfer student. So you'll have to finish at least uh, 60 hours before you come to us. And you will take the last 45 to 60 hours of your Bachelor of Science degree here at UGA Griffin with us. If you're a full-time student, you should be able to finish the degree in four semesters. All of the lectures are on campus. Of course, now that we're in COVID, things are uh, online or remote right now. The classes meet two days a week, either Monday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Thursday. However, in your senior year, you will be required to take a class in the fall and one in the spring that meet on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. In terms of the entry requirements for this program, there are some things that you definitely need to know. You must have completed at least 60 semester hours of transferable credit before the application deadline. You need to have a 2.8 or higher transfer GPA, and this is the GPA as it is calculated by the UGA Admissions Office. Uh, the reason we say that is that it may not be the same as what appears on your transcript. Uh, for instance, maybe the college that you went to gave you a grade in a course like PE. UGA doesn't. Maybe you repeated a course and your school just sort of forgot about or forgave you the first grade that you received in that course. UGA does not do that either. They count every grade that you've earned in a course even if you've repeated it, say, two or three or four times. You must have graduated from high school at least 12 months prior to the term you tend to enroll, and you must have completed at least one year of college by the term you intend to enroll. 
There are also some courses that you must complete prior to entry. Pre-calculus, biology one and two with lab, and this is a biology sequence for science majors. Freshman chemistry one and two with lab, and again, this is a uh, lab sequence for science majors. And then organic chemistry one with lab. And if you would like to get a more detailed list of degree requirements in terms of core university requirements, Franklin College graduation requirements, you can find that in the UGA Bulletin. In terms of meeting the requirements for graduation, these are some things that we have to keep in mind as we work with you while you're here. The minimum number of hours required for a bachelor's degree in the University System of Georgia is 120 semester hours plus one hour of PE. You'll have 60 semester hours of core coursework. You will take 35 to 36 hours of coursework in the major itself. You'll have 11 to 12 hours of major electives. And then you will have 12 to 14 hours of general electives. UGA also has a residence requirement. And it stipulates that 45 of your last 60 semester hours must be UGA credit. And I will work with you as your advisor to make sure that you fulfill that requirement. And in terms of core, uh, required curriculum, there are core areas one through six. There are major requirements, major electives. The university has specific uh, graduation requirements like the U.S. and Georgia history requirement, the U.S. and Georgia constitution requirement. And then the Franklin College itself has some graduation requirements. And as an example, I'll just mention the foreign language requirement. The Franklin College requires that all of its graduates complete at least three semesters of a single foreign language. So for instance, you might take Spanish one, two, and three, and you would have fulfilled that requirement. In terms of how to get started, one thing you might want to do is to go to this link and complete a readiness check. This is a place where you can upload unofficial copies of your transcript. Then I can access them and give you a preliminary review to let you know if there are any things you might be missing. Maybe you haven't had OCHEM 1, or maybe your GPA isn't quite a 2.8, or maybe you don't quite have 60 hours. We can get a look at that and let you know what you need to do to have all the requirements met so that you can transfer. And if you are eligible, if you've got everything out of the way that you need to, then I'll let you know you're good to go and you should go ahead and submit your application. Um, and as I mentioned, if you aren't ready to go, I'll work with you to develop a plan to make sure that we get you ready for transfer. We do admit students in the summer, the fall, and the spring. And the applications um, are all online on the UGA Undergraduate Admissions website. And UGA Admissions does require a non-refundable $70 application fee. And that's why I encourage you before you submit that fee that you do the readiness check with me so that I can make sure you're ready to roll. And then I'll tell you, go ahead, submit your application and pay the fee. If you have further questions, I hope you'll reach out to me. I'm available via phone or email, and uh, you can email me at fcasgriff at uga.edu, and my office phone number is 770-229-3016. If I'm not in, please leave a message, because the message will get to me, and I will respond. Thank you so much.